Scorpio. Welcome to your May 2018 rune scope with me. My name is Amanda. I will be shuffling here uh, the, well, actually I'm using in conjunction with the runes I've already shuffled, the Tarot Art Nouveau Premium Edition. This is one of my favorite decks because the artwork is just really awesome. It is by Linnea Weatherstone and Antonella Castelli. Then join me for part two after this reading for your spiritual guidance reading over on my Vimeo channel. I will be shuffling the Fairies Oracle by another one of my favorite artists, the amazing Brian Froud, uh, to get uh, your spiritual guidance for the month of May. That link is below in the description box. If this is your first visit to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. If you find that my readings resonate with you, that I'm connecting with your energy and you're finding them helpful, please do click the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And also that will ensure that my content, whenever I upload it, will go to your subscription feed so you won't miss any of your monthly room scopes. But let's jump in and see what you Scorpios are doing in May for our room cast here. Let's see what we get. For Scorpio, May 2018. No, that wasn't it. No. There it was. As always, Scorpio, keep in mind these are general readings. So not all of these messages will apply specifically to you. Some are some are gonna be for the other many Scorpios that are watching. If you would like something far more specific, um, I can only connect with your specific energy in a private reading. I do those on Skype. They are $70. So drop me a line at runescopes for you at gmail.com if you would like to set up an appointment. And we can take a look at what's going on for you in your specific circumstances. But you can take a look at your rising sign uh, as well. That will give you additional messages and information. And sometimes um, it's far more specific, your, your rising sign because it's more specific to your chart. Well, what do we have going on here? Scorpio. A lot of major arcana. May appears to be a big month. Um, challenger focus. We've got the nine of rods. So this is just, you're kind of battle weary here. You're feeling a little drained, a little disappointed because Wunyo is here in reverse. Um, but this is a minor arcana, so. I, you could be tired of fighting, you could be tired of arguing with somebody, maybe somebody let you down and that's what started the argument. But I feel like for most of you, this is just you're drained. I feel like you've been putting, again, similar to Pisces, you, there's something you've been putting a lot of effort into and it's just you're just not getting the payoff. So this could be a relationship, any kind of relationship. Doesn't have to be romantic. Um, Maybe you feel like you've been giving your all, and you have been with the Nine of Rods. Um, you know, you're just worn out, and you don't know if you're going to have the energy for one more disappointment or one more letdown. You're just feeling let down here, Scorpio, at some point in May. So there may be something that someone may disappoint you. There may be disappointing news about something, but I don't think that's going to continue through all of the month. Um, and we'll talk about why here in a second, but, um, and honestly, if that's the biggest challenge, I mean, that's one of life's kind of regular things is feeling disappointed and let down or things not turning out the way that we had hoped. And that's usually because there's something else that we aren't, we haven't seen yet or we haven't discovered or there's something else meant for us. And what's going on here? Um, there's a major shift or change in the present energy. So this could be either when you're watching this video for many of you and for others of you, it will be the end of April, early May, or later in May when you're watching this video. We do have the tower card in the present energy. Next to Awas, the rune of big shifts and changes. Something is breaking down. Something that was not strong, was not meant, to stay in your life or someone else's forever is breaking down and it's causing a huge shift or change. This doesn't always have to be a bad card. 
For some of you, maybe this is something you wanted to break down, like you wanted rid of. If you've been waiting for change, you're going to get it when the tower card comes up. Now, sometimes it can be jarring or it can be um, difficult because it is kind of um, external. Other people may be controlling this or causing this, and you just have to kind of go with the flow or react to it. But the biggest thing with the tower card is it's unexpected, but AWAS is in the upright and AWAS is a, a very positive room. So if you've been waiting for big changes, boy, they are coming in May. If they didn't start in April, they're starting in May. For many of you, I think this started in April though, because this is the present energy. So for most of you, end of April, early May. April was an astrologically tumultuous month too. A lot of stuff going on that could have caused this kind of energy. Breakdowns and upheavals, unexpected change. But um, let me change the batteries real quick, Scorpio, and uh, we'll get back to this and, and see uh, what else comes up with this. One second. And we're back. Sorry about that, Scorpio. Um, but yeah, I was just say, as I was saying, this is just unexpected events. For you in the month of May, they're specifically to do with travel or transportation. So um, this could be the unexpected breakdown of a vehicle. Or it could also be that you win a new car. I mean, because this is in the upright, I feel like it's more of a positive thing, really. So... Unexpected travel, unexpected relocation uh, for you or someone else. Um, relocation's not normally unexpected. I mean, you know, so it could be somebody telling you that they are moving closer to you and you had no idea or that they are moving far away. Um, but yeah, it, the way it could work in a positive way would be that, you know, your car's totaled out, but you get a better car. <laughs> I mean, it, this can be the, you know, definitely be careful with the tower card next to your trans transportation rune. And I, again, Pisces energy was similar. Uh, I feel like you guys, you and Pisces have similar readings um, or a lot of the same messages coming up. Cancer too. Um, since you're all the same element, you're all water. Uh, that probably explains why. I don't know. I, I know just enough astrology to get in trouble. So, um, but yeah, be careful while driving. Uh, be, be careful about road rage. Watch the other guy. Because again, this is like a um, external energy rather than yours. But for others of you, I think it's just an unexpected invite to travel or a chance to get away. It could be also something that's good that's unexpected and uh, either replaces or kind of gets you out of this funk that you may be feeling at the beginning of May here. The help that's going to be available, you do have the King of Swords. So this could be an air sign person. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. This could also be a lawyer, especially paired with Ansu's, because this is the rune of the mouth and communication. Um, so this could be a lawyer who wins a suit for you. Maybe this is somebody going to bat for you regarding an accident claim, getting you a better deal, getting getting something. Maybe that's what you're, you're battle weary about. It's like, oh, this legal case or this insurance payout. And then you hire this lawyer and... Um, He's on it. He's taking care of it and getting, you know, getting your payments so you can get a new vehicle or getting this taken care of so you can get this show on the road. Um, could also be an insurance agent. Uh, this could also be somebody making you an offer here, Scorpio. Um, getting in touch with you, especially digitally by text or Facebook or there could be emails going back and forth with you. It could be somebody you're interviewing with too that's leading to a wonderful new beginning because you've got the rune of Canis, which is opening up new beginnings, a new relationship, a new job, a new partnership. Um, it 
So it could be romantic or in work, but I feel like for if you're a single Scorpio and you date men, he could also be a woman too. I forgot to mention in these general readings, these court cards can be male or female, but uh, this is somebody who would take the initiative and speak to you first, and that's definitely being reinforced by Ansu's here. Um, it could also be like somebody you're getting a job offer from, but you're also like attracted to him or her and they're attracted to you and you know, but uh, it could also just be a wonderful new partnership in a creative venture or a, a job you're going to be doing that is wonderfully satisfying to you. It's just very um, artistic, creative. Um, if this is a new relationship, a new person coming in, it could be somebody you meet on the internet. It definitely could be um, with Ansu's here or, or in a class at school. It could be a professor, someone teaching a class that you're taking. Um, speaking or communicating seems to have something to do with this. So if you teach or do public speaking or are appearing at a conference, this could be someone that you're meeting there. Um, and he's coming up as a help to you, whether he's male or female. So I feel like maybe it's connected to this unexpected travel. Maybe unexpectedly you're invited to speak at some event or teach a class or appear as someone's guest and they're teaching a, a course or something and it's going to end up turning into um, something bigger and you're really gonna enjoy it. And so if you're invited to travel and speak or invited to teach or um, to come take a course with someone, definitely uh, do it because I feel like it's open. It's an opening up. It's opening up new vistas for you, Scorpio in May. What must be accepted? You've got the magician, so. You're getting things under control. You're taking control of your life and manifesting. This is the, like a major, major card of manifesting and it is a major arcana. So this is big shifts and changes when it comes to manifestation. Something that you've really wanted is manifesting. And that'll be different areas for all of you. Maybe you've been wanting to manifest um, a new job or uh, you've been wanting to manifest a new relationship or um, you've been wanting to manifest a new car and you, you know, um, you're bringing it into being by sheer force of will in May and compounded by this just like being fed up with this, you know, running in place energy. You know what, this is probably maybe just like Mercury retrograde hangover uh, we had that in April. So, I mean, it could, you know, and that is kind of like running in place, but never getting anywhere. And why am I not making any progress? And I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, April's a tumultuous month uh, astrologically. So this could just be like, oh God, I'm so drained from all of that. And then May is really shifting it out. Because again, this is a minor arcana. There may have been a minor disappointment or things are just disappointing because they're not moving as quickly as we want. So we're taking a bit of a time out. The Nine of Rods, it, it is a bit of a waiting energy because you're just too tired to move forward anymore. Again, battle weary. You're scarred. You can't do it anymore right now. <laughs> so some of you may be going on vacation in May, taking a little break but it does seem like by the end of the month or at some point here, you're getting an offer coming in for, um, you know, something something that is going, going to just kind of make your month a lot better. Um, there's also a severance of ties though with someone. For some of you, maybe you are divorcing someone and leaving, but I feel like if that's the case, you're the one moving out with this tower card. You're, you know, maybe that's what you're fed up with. I'm just done. I can't take this anymore. I'm moving out or I, I'm severing this relationship. Maybe you've been wanting to get out of it a long time and, and the magician is saying you're finally manifesting this because it is a one. It's a single. Um, Whatever this is, you're doing it of your own volition, but you're also ready for this. And um, you've been ready 
I feel like. Um, and those of you that are feeling maybe a little surprised or caught off guard about, like if you're having to speak in front of, you know, someone or you're invited to speak or teach or do something that you haven't done before, you're going to do great. You don't, the magician is the card. He has everything, right? He has all of the, all of the elements. He has the cup, the wands, the pentacles, and the sword. You don't need anything else. You're qualified to do this, more than qualified. You have all the experience, education, and uh, you've put all the effort in that's necessary here. You're gonna start reaping rewards in May. So just hang in there a little bit longer, Scorpio, because whatever this is you've been going after or trying to get away from, it, the start of it is in May, and it's all through your own efforts. Now the outcome of the month, we do have the temperance card in reverse. So, and Thurisa's in reverse. Whoops. So this is someone going to extremes. And you can do that sometimes, Scorpio. You are known to kind of, you know, there's no gray area, there's no middle ground with you. It's either all the way over here or all the way over there. When you're in something, you're in it all the way or you're not gonna do it at all. Um, so the end of the month, be careful that your, especially emotional reactions, that you're not going to emotional extremes, especially if they've caused problems for you in the past because there may be a temptation to take the easy way out or to, do something a certain way or to fall back on old patterns of dealing with especially romantic or or emotional relationships situations in an old way and they didn't serve you then and they won't serve you now so yeah, if there's a temptation to kind of do things the way that you used to do them or or if you if it's the same situation just kind of rearing up again, um do the opposite of what you did last time and see if that doesn't or even just take time out and do not do anything. Okay? Um but this could also be someone else's energy. They are acting intensely or they are going to extremes like they always do, repeating old patterns. And you know, you have to decide, like, am I gonna put up with this? Am I gonna go through this again or be disappointed with this relationship again? Maybe it's this same person that disappointed you for some of you. Um, could be a Sagittarius with temperance. That is the, the card that, uh, you know, says, is connected to Sagittarius, but I don't have any other wands people on the table. Maybe a Sagittarius if they've got like a air sign rising or something. But I mean, going to extremes is only going to repeat old patterns and maybe stop the new growth going on here if it's you. If it's someone else, you would need to look at, okay, well, am I going to react the same way? Or am I going to react the opposite way? I'm not going to let this get to me. Um, this is somebody you don't mesh with too. Temperance is saying incompatibility. We're just not compatible. We're just too, too different. And you know, this is never going to change. So I'm not, I'm not going to repeat this pattern anymore. So, um, So yeah, try things in a different way if there's been something, a pattern for you and see, or, or you know, don't respond at all right away. Take some time, time out to think about what would be right and what would not be repeating a pattern for you. So give that a think. And if someone was incompatible years ago or six months ago, you know, if you, you know, if a relationship ended, and um, there's this, you know, break up, get back together thing going on. Again, why keep repeating that pattern? Maybe especially when there's someone new on the horizon. This could be the same person, but this really does feel like two different energies. Um, or, you know, because this person was coming up as a help to you. So I feel like for many of you, there's someone new who's showing up in May or soon. Again, there's a bit of time is fluid. <laughs> So there's a bit of a window here, three months, give or take, 
um, since there are so many of you watching, but there's someone new coming in in May or very soon that's going to change the course of events as far as how you view compatibility and how you view past relationships. Like, I thought that person was right for me, but then this person came in and I'm like, oh my God, this person is right for me. I don't know why I was ever with that person. We were totally wrong for each other, you know? So it's all about perspective and recognizing that. You may be seeing someone in a new light in May. Someone that, you know, again, you had a high opinion of or you valued and um, really wanted in your life. Obsessed over maybe, Scorpio, you can not obsess sometimes. Uh, you know, it is part of your nature. Part of that scorpionic curse but yeah maybe this is somebody that just the idea of them was always we're going to be together or we ha you know we'll end up back together and then there's someone new coming in shaking that up and you're seeing that past relationship for what it really was instead of maybe what you thought it was so that's what i see here scorpio for may um, I am going to shuffle the fairies oracle. So meet me over on Vimeo. The link is below for part two. Want to see if we can get more wisdom and advice on how to handle this tower card and the temperance card in reverse. Um, see what their advice is for you, uh, in the month of May. So I will see you over there and I will see you back here next time. Thanks for watching.